Okay, your next comedian. Uh, I met him like a couple weeks ago, so he's like kind of funny and like kind of chill and like kind of cool. All right, give it up for Brian Burroughs. Part of my bit, but I did a movie out in Georgia on the same side of the island. I just want to say I fucking love Georgia. It's really, really wonderful. Uh, congratulations to your local state government for ruining that. I hope Hollywood destroys them. Anyway, my name is Brian Rose. I came here because I wanted to talk to you about lying to children. And I don't, I don't know if I really need to say this, but obviously I'm an elementary school teacher. Uh, if, you're, um, if you're a responsible parent, I'm not really a real teacher. I teach uh, after school photography to first and second year old. And I'm very qualified for that job, because that's kind of what I do. Um, but the real quality that I do have that got me the job was that I don't have tuberculosis. And I'm aware of that. But it is kind of like borrowing someone's dog in that you got to get to like be around them for 90 minutes and then give them back. And, see them the next week. <clears throat> but you know, when people ask about like what's the meaning of life and what, what should they expect, I think most people in this room are probably going to lie. Because I don't remember believing in Santa Claus, and I don't remember finding out that Santa Claus wasn't real. So I think when you look at like your Easter bunnies and your tooth fairies and your Santa Clauses, kids will get over that. But when you talk about the expectation of happiness in life, there's a really good chance that they won't get over that. And that, but that's only if they expect it in the first place. Because once that kid hits about 40, they're going to wake up one day and realize, oh my God, this is it. It's just more of this. <clears throat> and so when kids ask you a question about what to expect in life, you can sort of sell them the dream or you can tell them the truth. Or you could let them stay up late and watch late night television commercials. Because there aren't a lot of guarantees in life, but the guarantees that there are in life are strongly shown on late night TV commercials. You are going to probably lose your teeth. Don't get me started on that one. Um, uh, you'll lose the ability to hold your bathroom functions. You might get diabetes, lose your erection. Oh yeah, you'll die. I mean, all these things will happen. <clears throat> so once those kids wake up, once that kid who wakes up realizes that happiness is the new Santa Claus, they might not forgive you for that. On the plus side, when that child turns 40, you might not be around to blame, so probably no real problem. <laughs> because happiness has been this sort of carrot that's been dangling, dangled in front of us to, to keep us sort of lurching forward toward, towards the inevitable end. But it's also really important because it sells boats, it sells jewelry, it sells convertible cars to 50-year-old men. And, you know, I was giving some very good advice once by a friend of mine who said, you know what, Brian, give up this happy, happily ever after thing. He goes, give up meeting someone and being happy. What you should do is go out, find a woman that you fucking hate, buy her a house, and walk away with 15 years of your life intact. Because that house is just a thing, and money will come and go, but that 15 years of your life is pretty precious, and it might take care of your erection problems. Thank you, guys. Yes, give it up more time for Brian Burrow.